What's up, Madden Gamers? Welcome to today's video, guys. In today's video, we're breaking down the zone blitz off of our uh, five sets for success scheme here. Yesterday, we talked about a man blitz. Today, we're talking about a zone blitz. And uh, the zone blitz we're using today in, in this video is the overload three seam. Uh, you could use the buck slant three, but, I mean, they both kind of work the same way. Really, the only thing you need is that left slot blitzing now. Actually, I'm actually going to change my mind here. You want to use the Bucks Land 3, and, and this is why. So you see this blitz angle on the left corner on the Bucks Land 3. You see how it's straight down? Well, if you go to the Overload 3 seam, you see that it's slanted in. So for my money, I'm just going to go Bucks Land 3. Uh, but that's my, uh, obviously, that's my advice. You can do it however you want. Uh, but what we want to do here, we want to base a line. We want to crash our defensive line down. And then we can take this guy right here. Lennon and we could leave him blitzing if we wanted to this is I mean we're only sending five guys and let's see what happens here you see we get some quick uh, ga a gap pressure or actually it's more of a B gap pressure but I don't think that that's consistent let's see if it works two times in a row and you see it doesn't work the second time and so that's kind of the tell that it's really not consistent so what I like to do is base the line crash my defensive line down then I'm gonna get on the Trevathan here I'm gonna put him into a uh, re-blitz him and you can do that by hitting RB and flicking the left analog or the right analog stick to the left and uh, now you'll see we got a little bit more of an opportunity for some pressure here um, okay so baseline and do that setup let's see here what we got we see how we got those two guys kinda coming off the edge okay so what we're doing is we're base aligning we're pinching our defensive line we're crashing our line down and we're re-blitzing Trevathan and you see how we're getting the, those two guys to come free through the gaps now what I would recommend doing though as you see with uh, Harris I would recommend sliding him down a little bit like so uh, and the reason I would recommend doing that is because he'll smooth up the blitz a little bit and you see we can get that edge rush off the B gap as opposed to them running into each other so that's just something that else that you can do. I mean, you could even slide him all the way in. I mean, all he's there for is to eat up a blocker, and Lennon's the actual blitzer that you're wanting to get in. So you could do stuff like that. But uh, anyways, guys, real quick here, setup that I want to recommend. Base line, pinch your defensive line, crash your defensive line down. Uh, you could re-blitz one of these guys and test that out real quick. We might as well test that out real quick while we're here, though. And you see that doesn't really work as good as I thought it would. Uh, but anyway, so what you want to do, again, you want to base the line. So you want to base the line here. You want to pinch your line. You want to crash your line down. And then you could re-blitz the Trevathan. Um, from what I'm seeing, you don't really have to. So it's an extra setup. And you see sometimes you actually get him to come through the gap. Um, but real quick here, I want to display uh, a counter to this blitz. I'm pretty sure that if you slide protect to the left side, you can actually pick up this blitz for the most part. Um, obviously you could pick up the the gap pressure you can't necessarily pick up the edge pressure but uh, this is just a nice little complimentary blitz to your man version and uh, it does a really nice job in my opinion at uh, doing a good job of getting some pressure at the quarterback so make sure you have a fast linebacker there that's a good pass rusher and uh, that is our tip for today that's our zone blitz here guys but uh, pretty good little play here uh, real quick let me show you let me actually let me show you the over overload three seam I haven't even looked at it yet uh, to be honest hey look I finally had to choose a new play instead of flipping the sides like I've done all week <laughs> but uh, if you go in here and you pick the overload three seam you see how the blitz angles are a little bit different and let's just see if that me makes any difference to the setup it probably will you see we get uh, two-man pressure up the gap so that that's pretty good there I mean I'm doing the same everything's the same it's just I'm doing it from that play but it's not. You see how they get crisscrossed up? I don't really like that, and that's kind of why. But what you might do is this: you might like because Lennon's angle is so much more shallow. You might reblitz Harris, kind of lob him down there like that, and that might be a little smoother of a way to do that. So, just some stuff, guys. Get in the practice mode. But I'm telling you right now, you want to uh, experiment with the Buckslant three, the overload three seam, and the uh, mid zone blitz, and see what you guys come up with. But that's our zone blitz for today, guys. Those are. Uh, and the three that I listed are very good. Uh, basically, what I looked for in the zone blitz was making sure that this guy was on a blitz angle. Some type of blitz angle uh, I thought would make this a really good play. Uh, and you see, I mean, we've been able to get some different types of pressure with different types of setups. But it all revolves around uh, this guy being on a blitz angle. So... But that's the video for today, guys. If you enjoyed this content, you thought it was helpful, 
you thought that I said, you know, I, you thought I did a good job in presenting it. Um, go ahead and subscribe. Uh, you know, it would help me out a lot, but it would, I think it would help you guys out a lot as well. Uh, we try to post a lot of Madden content, and I think you guys really would enjoy uh, the rest of the content we post on a weekly basis. So check out the channel if you haven't already, and we'll talk to you guys later.